This is Unleashing Leadership. I'm your host, Travis Moss. Welcome to episode 43. It is quote day. So it's also, this episode is being released on a Wednesday. It's also hump day. We're going to get you some inspiration, maybe get you through the rest of the week. Today's quote is about the hurricane. A hurricane is an act of nature. Failure to prepare when the necessity for preparation is well known. That is your problem. This is actually a quote by me, so I'm tooting my own horn here a little bit, but every now and then I write a quote for my team based on what I think the team needs to to, to hear about. When I was young, I was 21, 22 years old. I spent about six months out in California, and I needed a job, so I go and I apply for this uh, marketing job. Well, really what the marketing job was, it was door-to-door business sales, and you were, I was selling office supplies. And I go in for the interview and they tell me about how great I'm going to be, that I'll probably be a manager in no time, all this money I'm going to make. I remember calling my dad up and be like, yo, <laughs> they said I got management. They said I'm management material. I'm going to be running the place, getting my own office someday. I'm going to make all this money. Okay, good, good, good. What they didn't tell me was the next day I had to get there at 6 o'clock in the morning for sales training, like brutal sales training with people that, the vast majority of them within a month would be gone. And after the training, go out to your territory and you work your territory for eight hours. And then you go back and you get judged for your performance as a group. And you do another hour of sales training. Then you go home somewhere around eight o'clock at night and then you repeat it next day. And if you fail to make your two sales a day, uh, you could be gone by the end of the week. I left that part out, but I was desperate. I needed a job, so I worked at it, and I did good enough that I got to be part of a team that went from L.A. up to San Francisco, and and it was like a cross-branch thing where they'd send you from one office to another one to maybe get inspired, to work with different people, that kind of stuff, and so I go up to uh, San Francisco, and they sent me like Chinatown or something. And the manager there, he says to me, well, he says the whole team anyway, he gives a speech and he goes, you are where you deserve to be. And his whole point was, you put the time in, you put the effort in, have you learned the skills? Are you afraid? Do you go and knock on all the doors or do you go and stick stickers on the windows and then go sip coffee all day long? Are you hiding or are you out there in front showing how it's done, right? Setting the example. And that has carried with me most of my adult life is you are where you deserve to be with very, very, very few circumstances. Sometimes people get illness that they, that's not, it was not in the cards for them and it's not fair. But aside from that, there are very, very, very few scenarios that you don't deserve to be in because of something that you've done or something you haven't done. You fail to take action, you're in a sucky situation, right? You take the wrong action, you're in a sucky situation. You are where you deserve to be. It's a, it's a, it's a, the culmination of all your actions and influences and behaviors and all that kind of stuff. Back to the quote, hurricane is an act of nature. It's going to happen. There's nothing you can do to stop it. Right? Nature is nature. Life is life. But if you know the hurricane's coming and you don't prepare, you know it. You know, somebody's told you what it's going to take and you still don't do it. That's a you problem, man. There is nothing anybody can do to fix that but yourself. And you can complain and you can bitch and you can moan, but you are where you deserve to be. If you're unhappy with the results of a particular event, first ask, did I do everything that I could to prepare? Own it for better or worse. Even if you fucked up, even if you didn't, you didn't prepare enough and you got slammed, you got your ass beat. Own it and get better. Get back up and say, I did. Now I know and do it better. History is actually kind like that. You know what? Your your history follows you and always catches up to you. 
because you ignore it. You don't own it. You pretend it didn't happen. That's why it catches up to you because it's a secret that somebody's going to find out someday. But when you own it, when it's not a secret, it can't catch up to you. You are you already put it to bed. Own it for better or worse. That's the only time when you can grow personally and professionally. You will be where you deserve to be. 